Hey YouTube, it is Lucy. I know it's been a long time. Everybody's asking for an update. It has been months. Things are going, um, they're going, <laughs> they're going. Uh, divorce is interesting, especially when you spend 22 years with somebody. I'm turning 39 next month. That's over half my life. That's insane, right? Uh, it's definitely different. My hand is still very much broken. These knuckles bend, these knuckles don't, these top knuckles don't. Um, I say they don't bend and that's kind of like these three fingers. They, that's like kind of the angle that they stay bent at, if you will. These two fingers work, these three don't. So it's kind of hard to like unpack and like move things and get resituated and, and stuff. It's weird uh, and it's hard to do by myself. So I'm having to like rely heavily on guy friends, my best friend who's, she's freaking amazing. Amazing, definitely my ride or die. She's been here through everything and I love her to death for it. And I know that she watches these videos. So I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Um, really love you. So she's basically filled in his role as a caregiver with my kids. Um, she drives them when I need help and she yells at them when I need her to. And <laughs> she's amazing. Um, so I don't know that I would have got through as much as I did had it not been for a lot of her hugs. I'm such a big hugger. I love hugs. And her hugs got me through some really tough spots. And it wasn't even like, oh, I'm distraught that my marriage is ending type of situation. It was like, I don't know how to go about this and how to go about that. I do feel like the marriage uh, being over is, it's a great thing. It's not something to be sad about. Um, it should have happened a long freaking time ago in all honesty. And I'm not even going to travel down the road of why, but um, maybe one day. But for now it is a it's an amazing thing so i'm very grateful that things played out the way that they did i just wished it would have happened sooner and i wished it wouldn't have been such a chicken shit and i wished i would have left myself a long freaking time ago because that's my only regret now um i am enjoying freaking life i wake up happy i go to bed happy i know that the whole day is dependent, like my mood is gonna be dependent on me. Um, I've learned a lot of things about myself. Now, there are some things that I will say, oh, you know what, maybe they weren't as bad as I thought they were, like <laughs> certain aspects, you know, that's gonna happen. Um, and there, like I'm pretty self-aware of like my own, like my trauma in my life, but there were definitely some new things that I was like, oh, whoa. Did not know I had that trauma. Did not know I was disassociating. Did not know that like my BFF or like friends or um, a guy would point out and I'm like, oh, wow. Like I thought I was really self-aware of it. Like, holy crap, you're right. Um, so some new things that I had to work through or work on depending on. And then there were so many other things where I was like, and this was like the bulk of it where it's like, wait a second. I had only ever asked for the bare minimum. Like being nice is not me being like picky or bitchy. Like that's just the bare minimum. Like I'm, I wasn't wrong in asking for that. You know, just kind of thoughts like that where it's like crap, like it was way more toxic than what I even realized. Insane. Um, I'm happy. I'm very, very happy so yes so if anybody completely off topic if anybody has like a, a really cool uh job they want to throw my way let me know because i would love a change in life um seriously though like i'm i'm dead serious um i am not doing like full-on classes this semester it's too much as far as my health goes again like i'm barely keeping my head above water with taking care of the house, the kids, all their activities, all their doctor's appointments, much less my own. A lot of my doctor's appointments, the kids are not able to come to. I don't have childcare. That's been the, probably the biggest thing is childcare. Um, I need to go to the dentist, extremely bad. Um, my oncologist, my neurologist, my hand surgeon, all of my health stuff has taken 
the back burner uh, and definitely until I get everything else figured out so I mean it just kind of it is what it is I don't have family here um, I all my friends and everybody they work during the days so um, I I mean their dad doesn't but he's not it's not his time so um, he has them on the weekend um, we're not co-parenting very well because he doesn't want to communicate so I mean I can communicate till I'm blue in the face which is what I did for 22 years and I was met with a brick wall which is what I'm still being met with so hopefully uh, as time goes on that will change and the co-parenting will become better but for now he has them when he has them and when he doesn't they kind of just don't exist um, I mean it is what it is I did talk to him about it recently and saying like hey like I mean unless you want to start paying all my bills uh, eternally like you may want to like help um, like, I don't know, like bringing a child to a doctor's appointment because I can't, I mean, it's eight kids. It's a lot. Like I cannot not work every single day because I'm bringing them to doctor's appointments. And I know people are like, oh, it's a dentist. It's an ortho. It's PCP. Like it can't be that frequent. That da, da, da. Well, no, we have neurology. We have an allergist. I mean, crap comes up constant, constant. And sure, I could cut back on the extracurricular activities, but I'm afraid with like the divorce and everything else that's going on in life, it would take its mental toll on the kids. The older ones did struggle. One of them is still struggling, um, but one of them struggled bad mentally uh, initially. And thankfully that's gotten, I feel like it's 100% better now, but uh, it's been a change. And I think everybody's just happy now their dad has his own place and they go there on the weekends they're here during the week and um i think they've adjusted pretty well to at least the current dynamic i do hope that dynamic changes a little bit over time we're still trying to figure out summer and how summer will work for us we're kind of trying to do things on our own i mean we both have lawyers but we're trying to do things on our own and then just kind of have the lawyers solidify it all but um, we just had an ice storm and they were here with me all week and it was so entertaining. My house is destroyed. I'm, I'm about to clean that couch. It's one of those things that destroyed the house. So I told him Saturday when he came to pick up the kids, I was like, you know, I know we discussed like doing every, like a two week rotation during the summer, but, um, we may want to consider like a one week rotation. <laughs> I'm not sure either one of us is going to survive two weeks based on the way that this past week went. I mean, they were having a blast, but like, Jesus, my house is destroyed. And granted, that's so easily done right now because it's not put together to begin with. Like there's crap everywhere because I can't finish doing it by myself. So... It's fine. It's fine. And his house doesn't have toys and stuff in it. And I need to get rid of all our toys because we are never home. Anyhow, life is good. I know y'all are going to ask about dating and things like that. I don't know what I can and can't say. Um, but I do know that when the divorce is finalized, I'm happy to share. I don't care. Um, y'all know I'm pretty much an open book. So um, until then, I mean, life is what it is and I think my ex is happier I'm happier the kids are happier so it seems to just be a big blessing in disguise my only regret is that it didn't happen sooner I mean truly I wake up happy I go to bed happy my mood is dependent on myself <laughs> and I love that um I love that and I've got some pretty cool people in my life. I've met some amazing people along the way. And um, I don't have any complaints. So 
I have smiled more than I have <laughs> smiled in a long time. Um, oh my gosh, I'm getting teary-eyed. I did not know that was going to happen. Um, I'm happy. I cannot express how happy I am to the point that it apparently makes me emotional. So I'm happy. I've smiled. My cheeks hurt. I laugh more than I ever have. Um, I'm enjoying what life brings me and all the lessons that I learn along the way. So I will talk to y'all soon. There's your update. Bye all.